Hello Pisces, welcome to your love reading. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your reading this time around, don't try to make it fit. It's just not your reading this week and check back next week for more messages. Um, and we're gonna get right into it for Pisces. For Pisces spirit. Messages for Pisces and love. Messages for Pisces in love. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Your likes and your subscribes help out the channel a lot. So thank you for the support. For Pisces in regards to love. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. What else for Pisces? Calling in your soulmate. What else? Keep an open mind and express your love. Okay, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Interesting. So some of you have been manifesting love and I feel like it's someone you already know. I feel like there's still, this still hasn't taken off exactly because I feel like you're still waiting to express how you feel, get to know this person. So let's see. Messages for Pisces in love. What does Pisces need to know in love? What does Pisces need to know in love? Doing a past, present, future spread, keeping it simple. So in the near or recent past, not near, recent past, Nine of Cups, Reverse, Eight of Pentacles. I just heard that some of you met this person at work, okay? Judgment, Reverse. Bad judgment call in the past here. Maybe someone's still learning from their mistakes. Needing to make a new judgment call. Um, oh, six of swords at the bottom. Uh, something here has not taken or it has not happened like you thought it would Pisces with the nine of cups reverse. You haven't gotten your wish. You haven't gotten um, emotional satisfaction from something that you were expecting. Maybe you're back working on it, trying to, maybe this has something to do with work. Maybe this has something to do with um, someone that you're interested in. You're like trying to refocus on this, work on this partnership or work on yourself. But I feel like in the midst of all this, you know, there's something you're not really seeing clearly with judgment reverse, like your judgment is blocked regarding a situation or a decision here. In the present, we got the 10 of cups reverse, family issues here, uh, emotional, being emotionally drained, huge disappointment. And I think it has to do with whatever wish you wanted here. Ace of Cups reverse. This could have something to do. Something's going on with love for you, Pisces. Something is not working for you. It's like love is delayed or your emotions are all over the place. Death reverse. You don't want something to end or change. Scorpio energy with the death card reverse. There's something that you don't want to end or change. Even though maybe that's exactly what's needed. Near future. Page of Swords. Communication. A conversation coming in. Three of Pentacles. Could be again related to work for some of you. Or working together with someone. And Six of Pentacles. So there's some sort of balance coming, coming in here. Something. 
something's being uh the balance is being restored for you or you're making you're rebalancing the situation maybe this was something where you had feelings for someone and, and they, they weren't reciprocated you felt for someone with you know and they felt differently so you weren't on the same page and now there's something here where the feelings are mutual bottom of the deck we have the six of swords it's all about leaving a difficult situation um leaving a uh, unhealthy situation for something healthier more balanced this is a departure this is a change maybe this is exactly what's needed or this is what you're actually going to be doing now you're taking the steps to do what needs to be done here with the six of swords so let's get into this let me clarify these energies, please, Spirit. Let me clarify these energies for Pisces. Let's start with this Nine of Cups reverse. What happened here with this Nine of Cups? Okay. Eight of Swords. Okay. So feeling stuck, trapped, fearful. Um, unable to see a way out of a situation. Maybe you were waiting for something to take you out of this feeling stuck and it never happened. Tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse. Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's only confusion. There, you could have been tempted by something that was an illusion. Maybe you made the wrong choice. You chose the wrong cup. Maybe the cup was not what you thought it was going to be. And then you, that left you feeling stuck, kind of in your head overthinking. Not every one of those cups is what it's supposed to be. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, there's something you wanted. There's something that you wanted and, you know, maybe you don't have the courage um, or you didn't have the courage before, but you do now. Or maybe this is something to do with like someone that you have the hots for, a lot of attraction and chemistry for, but you made the wrong choice or you, you didn't, this didn't work out for you the way you thought. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. This could be in regards to a fire sign as well with the Queen of Wands here. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Wands. So you're working on being successful, being recognized, trying to get someone's attention possibly. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. This could have something to do with work once again. For some of you, it's definitely work. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. You want to be independent, successful, um, stable. So you're working on yourself. What's this judgment reverse? So why the bad judgment call? Why the judgment being blocked? Spirit, why is judgment reverse here for Pisces? King of Pentacles. Something to do with either... A commitment maybe there's someone that you're thinking about that's already in a commitment something to do with finances or stability is um, your judgment is blocked against it tell me more about judgment reversing could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn tell me about judgment reverse please devil reversed Capricorn energy breaking free from an unhealthy attachment Breaking free from temptation, from being bound. Very interesting. Can I get one more before I say what I'm seeing? Can I get one more card, please, spare for judgment reverse. Knight of Wands. It's like someone here. And this could be all of you. this whole spread could be about you, Pisces, or it could be about whoever you're dealing with, um, or it could be a mix of both because it's just a past, present, future spread. 
So I feel like there's some sort of bad judgment call where your judgment is blocked about a particular person or a commitment of some sort. And um, I think that your, your desires, either temptation, either obsessive nature, whatever negative or toxic situations happening here, I think it's led you to act impulsively. You are not really, instead of, it's almost like instead of, um, it, it's almost like you, you want to uh, break free from an unhealthy attachment just to get in trouble again. This could be you or your person. It's like someone here could be stepping out of a commitment or marriage um, because they're, their own actions get them in trouble and they aren't learning from their mistakes. And it could be that someone here is breaking free from a, a commitment that was unhealthy or toxic and it's still like they're going after a situation. Maybe they just want to have fun, have a good time, but they haven't really learned from whatever has happened. So it's just going to get them in trouble again and cause conflict. You know, I have the five of wands at the bottom here. Tell about the 10 of cups reverse. The magician reverse. Again, something wasn't able to be manifested here. Your happiness wasn't able to be, it's like you were trying to manifest happiness, a happy family, love, and it didn't work out. Tell me about the 10 of cups reverse, please. Yeah, queen of cups reverse, devastated. Someone's devastated, emotional, maybe clingy in a way, kind of codependent. They don't want to let this go. Yeah, and they're, it's, it's like it's keeping them from starting a new cycle. There's unfinished business, a lack of closure. And even though this might have been a waste of time or a bad investment, someone is still kind of trying to make this happen. Tell me about the Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, Four of Wands reverse. This did not this did not work out. Queen of Pentacles reverse. If this was with someone else, um, if there was some sort of a commitment, someone here lost interest. I have the Four of Cups there. Um, someone here, uh, this was not a good family situation or uh, the home is not stable. There's no harmony there. Someone here could be dependent on someone else financially. I have the King of Pentacles upright and the Queen of Pentacles reverse, and then I have a Queen of Cups reverse and a Queen of Wands. A lot of people here. There could be multiple people involved, and that's why I had that Five of Wands. Something didn't work out. Love just did not work out the way you thought it was going to, Pisces. So what now? Like, why? I hope you're not going to let this kind of keep you stuck. Tell me about the death card reverse. Why is, oh, why is death reverse? Four of cups, knight of cups. Interesting. See what I see here? I see like one person wants a cup and then the other person's not interested or they're not even open to the opportunity. And that's how I'm seeing this in a few ways, either by being emotionally attached to this situation that didn't work out, Pisces, you're closing yourself off to new love, or you want new love with someone that's not really interested, someone that's not really uh, emotionally invested. You know, I feel like some of you are waiting for an apology that will never come as well. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. Definitely, this is just going to lead to pain. Not ending something, not changing something, not having a transformation is only going to lead to pain. Tell me about the page of swords. What's this page of swords? King of swords, strength reverse. Leo energy with the strength card. Serious communication. Serious communication and someone's going to be kind of trying to control the situation. I feel and this king of swords I feel like it's not going to fall for it um, Strength reverse is also uh, lacking courage lacking strength 
not feeling strong enough, um, but also like wanting to force something to happen that cannot happen. And, you know, trying to be controlling of a situation because you want a certain outcome. So be very careful that this isn't you. This King of Swords is not having it. Like they, they don't care. They're going to get to the truth. They're going to talk, you know, honestly and, and to the point they're not going to be Emotions not going to get in the way of, of their communication here. So there's something here that's going to be communicated um, that's going to maybe open your eyes to something here with um, the moon reverse. There you are, Pisces. This could be a conversation that opens your eyes. I think that's going to be your title. Tell me about the three of pentacles. Actually, let me see. Tell me more about this king of swords. What is this king of swords? <laughs> wow, that's way too many. But I love that the ace of swords came out. What does this king of swords want to talk about? I know he wants to talk. The lovers reverse. About a separation. Gemini energy about a bad choice in love. Tell me more about this King of Swords. What does this King of Swords want to talk about? Seven of Wands, Two of Cups reverse. The, he could be wanting to talk about a separation. And I again, I just get the sense that someone's going to be resisting this. This is that Four of Cups here. Someone is going to be kind of defensive, blocking this energy. Like they don't want to talk about it. Or um, it could be that someone wants to fight for this connection as well. Something that didn't work out here. This could be you. This could be somebody else. What's this Three of Pentacles? Temperance, Reverse, and Seven of Swords. Yikes. Someone here could have been in a third party situation or uh, avoiding a situation being deceptive. And it's caused a lack of balance here with uh, Temperance Reverse. Something's not coming together due to someone's actions. Sagittarius Energy. Again, I just keep hearing that someone has not learned their lesson. They keep doing the same old, same old. And I think it keeps getting them in trouble because things aren't working for them. Oops. I'm gonna get one more for this Three of Pentacles. Yeah, and here's the Page of Cups. So it's almost like, it's almost like someone, it, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Page of Swords. It's like someone's still trying to communicate, to go after something, to, to express how they feel, you know, but then at, at, I have this with some other cards that I don't like, you know, the Knight of Wands with the Devil Reverse and Judgment Reverse, the Knight of Cups with the Four of Cups and Death Reverse, Page of Cups with Seven of Swords. Page of Swords with a Strength card. You know what I mean? There's is something is off about whatever message is being expressed. Now, be careful that you're not trying to manifest something that's not meant for you. There's, there's something that you need to leave behind, and I wonder if you have. What's the Six of Pentacles about? Someone could be apologizing to you for what they've done, which is great. But apologies are meaningless without action. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, please, for Pisces. Four of Swords, healing, rest, thinking, reflecting. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. And again, the Five of Wands flipped over there. The Sun. And the moon reversed. Something is, yeah, you're going to be seeing something very clearly. 
your eyes are going to be open. And once you figure out what this is, or once this comes to light, once you have this revelation, I feel you're going to be thinking about it and reflecting on it. And it has to do with balance or reciprocity. It has to do about how someone feels about you or about how to balance a situation out. We got Leo and Pisces, there you are. This is going to be a, an eye, the eye opening moment that you need. And perhaps this moment is going to bring a better partner to you, or perhaps opening your eyes will help you deal with this situation better and improve this situation. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. If this resonated with you, then let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you. And hopefully, I'll see you in another video. Take care.